full can. Now, we do the full can first. And the big reason you do a full can test first on a super spinatus is because it's non provocative. It's externally rotated in the scapular plane. So you're in a position of clearance for the acromion, so you're not in an impingement position. So technically, the patient, if they have impingement, should be less symptomatic in this position. Okay? Pain is inhibitory. If I put them in a painful position first of internal rotation and abduction, of course they're going to be weak because the pain is inhibitory. So I get a truer muscle test without pain involved for the supraspinatus in a full cam position. That's been verified by EMG. Here's your traditional empty cam. Okay, this is the one we've all grown up with. Okay? Has been the, the empty cam internal rotation. The problem is, is that you're in an impingement position here. Okay? So the patient will have pain, which means they will test weak. So now we'll get the difference from a full cam to an empty cam. Then that tells you what's going on. The full cam tells you there's integrity. If you have pain and weakness or giving way with a full can, you know you've got a cuff tear. Right? If you have a good strong test in a full can, and then they give way with an empty can, it's more of an impingement situation. Less likely to be a cuff tear. Mm -hmm. But if you rely on this, you'll have skewed results. And you won't really be able to tell what's going on.